Behold a cosmic Christmas spectacle unlike anything you've ever seen. Billowing green clouds glow like the most magical aurora. Blazing red stars cluster together, outshining strands of holiday light. Entire galaxies glitter in colors more vibrant than any ornament. This is the wonder of Christmas tree. Worlds captured across the universe by Hubble, Webb, and more. Journey with us across an interstellar winter wonderland. We'll zip past stars born inside cradles of stardust, glowing fiercer than any fireplace. We'll stand amazed as nature herself bends gigantic galaxy clusters into the most spellbinding treetoppers ever conceived. And we'll peek into dusty stellar nurseries, unveiling new infrared views that expose once hidden realms sparkling with infant stars. The cosmic holiday season has arrived, and you're invited to an out-of-this-world celebration. So brace yourself for a tour through Christmas magic made real at the furthest reaches of space. And now, the twinkling lights beckon. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has recently sparked a wave of excitement for astronomers, capturing an image of a distant and vibrant group of galaxies affectionately referred to as the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster. The JWST revealed dazzling celestial phenomena resembling Christmas lights as it identified 14 new transient objects, celestial entities that undergo a significant brightening before disappearing. The official name for this cosmic winter wonderland is MACS 0416, and it's located around 4.3 billion light years from our planet. Heo Jing Yan, an associate professor in the University of Missouri Department of Physics and Astronomy, said in a statement, we're calling MACS 0416 the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster, both because it's so colorful and because of the flickering lights we find within it. Transients are objects in space, like individual stars, that appear to suddenly brighten by orders of magnitudes and then fade away. These transient objects appear bright for only a short period of time and then are gone. It's like we're peering through a shifting magnifying glass. The combined capabilities of the JWST and Hubble Space Telescope made it possible to detect numerous passings within this galaxy. The significant number of transients observed in this collaborative effort suggests the possibility of numerous additional discoveries awaiting discovery within the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster. It's like a gift for astronomers that keeps giving new information and ideas. The journey of light from the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster began when our solar system, then just 300 million years old in the 4.6 billion year old universe, was just beginning to take shape. It is possible that this light is too faint for detailed observation by the JWST. The discovery of this cosmic Christmas occurrence was aided by a clever method initially proposed by Albert Einstein. Einstein's 1915 theory of general relativity, which explored the nature of gravity, posited that Massive objects could warp the fabric of space and time, combining them into a singular entity known as space-time. When objects pass through these warped regions of space, including light, their trajectories will curve because of this curvature, perceived as gravity. The more closely an object is situated to the mass, the more pronounced the curvature it experiences. As a result, when an object traverses the space between our planet and a faraway light source, the light from that background object takes varying amounts of time to reach us, owing to its non-linear trajectory resulting from the arc formed by the intervening object. This phenomenon, commonly referred to as gravitational lensing, transforms the intervening object into a natural cosmic magnifying glass, amplifying the appearance of the background object from our perspective. The JWST has mastered this gravitational lensing technique, achieving notable success in spotting some of the universe's earliest stars. Its latest success is the detailed view of the Christmas tree galaxy cluster. Hyo Jing Yan further revealed, we can see so many transients in certain regions of this area because of a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, which is magnifying galaxies behind this cluster. Right now, we have this rare chance that nature has given us to get a detailed view of individual stars that are located very far away. While we are currently only able to see the brightest ones, 
If we do this long enough, and frequently enough, we will be able to determine how many bright stars there are and how massive they are. The research team made a noteworthy discovery when analyzing four sets of images captured by the JWST over a span of approximately four months as part of the JWST's PEARLS GTO 1176 program. The team identified two objects as supernova explosions, which marked the conclusion of stars' life cycles. Jan expressed enthusiasm for this finding, highlighting its significance in allowing the team to study the galaxies hosting these supernovas. Heo Jing Yan further elaborated, the two supernovas and the other twelve extremely magnified stars possess distinct natures, yet each holds importance. Tracking the changes in brightness over time through their light curves enables us to eventually unravel the identities of these stars. In addition to the discovery of supernovas, the astronomers made an extraordinary discovery within the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster. The discovery involved a massive star within a galaxy, captured during the earliest stages of the universe's existence, which was only three billion years old. This star is called Mothra, after the famous moth kaiju from Japanese movies. It's in a galaxy that has been magnified to 4,000 times its original brightness. The object responsible for focusing this galaxy remains unidentified, although Jan and the team estimate its mass to be between 10,000 and 1 million times that of the sun. Jose Diego, the lead author of the research and a scientist at the Instituto de Física de Cantabria, said in a statement, The most plausible explanation is a globular star cluster that's too faint for the JWST to observe directly. However, the true nature of this additional lens remains unknown. Adding to the awe, the Hubble Space Telescope's images captured nine years ago not only revealed Mothra's galaxy as visible, but also as a lensed object and a background galaxy, or time a lensing object and a background galaxy are likely to drift out of alignment. However, in an unusual twist, it appears that Mothra's home galaxy and the object responsible for lensing, it have maintained their alignment. In the future, Jan and the team aim to unravel the identity and characteristics of this lensing object. Jan further stated, we aim to comprehend the intricate structure of this cosmic magnifying glass and its connection to the distribution of dark matter. The JWST has truly opened up a completely new perspective on the universe. The resulting composite view of galaxy cluster MACS0416 combines infrared data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope with visible light data from the Hubble Space Telescope. The image spans a broad wavelength range from 0.4 to 5 microns and showcases a diverse assortment of galaxies where the bluest ones point to closeness and luminous star formation, as emphasized by Hubble. Webb noticed that the redder galaxies suggested a greater distance or contained substantial dust. Both telescopes can give a good look at the cosmic landscape. In 2014, the groundbreaking Frontier Fields program began a series of extraordinary, super-deep explorations of the universe. Hubble, a pioneer in the detection of faint and young galaxies, set the stage for this endeavor. The use of Webb's infrared camera makes this cosmic survey go even further into the early universe. With a specific scientific goal in mind, the recent Webb observations of the Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster were conducted. The study team combined three distinct periods of observation, each spaced out over a period of weeks, with a fourth period from the Canadian near ISS Unbiased Cluster Survey Study Group. Their objective was to identify objects that present varying brightness over a period of time, commonly referred to as transients. The team identified 14 transients across the entire field of view, with 12 of them located in three galaxies that were significantly magnified by gravitational lensing. These transients are likely to be individual stars or multiple stars that undergo brief, intense magnification. The remaining two speculative events are confined to less intense background galaxies and are believed to be supernova. Due to its vibrant colors and the presence of flickering lights within it, the cluster earned the moniker Christmas Tree Galaxy Cluster. It's possible to find more transients in this cluster and other similar ones by observing them regularly 
with the Webb telescope. As autumn turns to winter, the Milky Way in the eastern sky looks beautiful and welcoming. The grandeur of the Milky Way shines brightest when viewed from a rural location, but city dwellers don't have to miss out. It is possible to observe the radiant star clusters that decorate the galactic panorama, like the ornaments on a celestial Christmas tree. In the universe's dance, stars don't always appear in their own beautiful form. They usually emerge as a part of a stellar group within a cloudy haze of gas and dust. The Orion Nebula is a stunning example of this cosmic nursery, as the young stars and the nebula, their birthplace, engage in a captivating celestial dance. As a star cluster matures, the cloaks of gas and dust gradually disperse, revealing a swarm of newly formed stars. Some of these stellar nurseries are situated near Earth, rendering them into celestial gems that can be observed without any assistance. The renowned Pleiades, whose name comes from the Seven Sisters in Greek mythology, is the most prominent. Paradoxically, this renowned cluster is often referred to as the Seven Sisters, even though most observers can discern only six stars. This discrepancy is a charming case of reality, bending to fit the invite of the legend, as seven holds a more captivating mystique than six. Beyond the visible stars, the Pleiades reveals its true splendor when viewed through binoculars, revealing a tangle of numerous fainter stars. The Pleiades, situated at a distance of 410 light-years from our Sun, captivate with its luminous appearance and compact configuration. The Hyades, a celestial group 150 light-years away, is the closest star cluster to it. Unlike the Pleiades, the Hyades embellish the sky with a more extensive spread owing to their close proximity. Although less prominent, they are equally captivating particularly when observed against the backdrop of a pristine country night sky or through the lenses of binoculars. The High Aids feature a special star called Aldebaran in their center. A peculiarity of cosmic perspective situates Aldebaran within the High Aids, despite its closeness to Earth at a distance of only 65 light years. The High Aids look better because of the way the stars and planets are arranged in space. People who like to look at stars with ordinary binoculars can see many star clusters that they haven't seen before in this part of the sky. Star clusters, which serve as starting points for astronomy beginners, provide captivating vistas with binoculars and modest telescopes, even in the glare of city lights. The winter Milky Way illuminates the night sky, turning each star cluster into a glowing chapter in the cosmic tale, inviting viewers to join in on the celestial feast. There are many groups that are connected to the constellation Perseus. One of them is called the Perseus Cluster, and it's located around the star Murfig. The cluster, located 600 light-years away, is believed to contain the majority of the brightest stars in the constellation. Moreover, Perseus is the home to the visually stunning double cluster, which is composed of two clusters that are closely positioned in the sky yet are situated at varying distances from Earth, namely 7,000 and 8,100 light-years apart. Charles Messier didn't notice these beautiful clusters in his catalog, even though he included the Messier 34 cluster, which is tiny. Auriga is a constellation with many open clusters, which Messier named numbers 36 to 38. These clusters, located near the luminous star Capella, offer captivating views through a small telescope. Just below, at the feet of the Gemini twins, lies Messier 35, a celestial gem that ranks among the finest telescopic sights in the night sky. For avid observers, it becomes a rewarding pursuit to identify these celestial treasures individually. Even casual sky watchers can bask in the glory of the Milky Way by simply scouring the night sky with binoculars, uncovering a treasure trove of celestial gem. Starting just to the right of Jupiter and following the Milky Way upward toward Perseus, positioned high above, this cosmic treasure trove is ready for everyone to enjoy. For the longest time, NG2264 was the original Christmas tree galaxy cluster until this year. Most people put a star on top of the Christmas tree, but there's another way to look at it. Put a star at the base of the tree and add a cone at its top. 
This unconventional arrangement is mirrored in the Christmas tree cluster situated within NGC 2264, a vast expanse of gas and dust, a vast expanse of gas and dust situated about 2,500 light years away, which is actively generating stars. This cosmic nursery produces stars exceeding 20 times the sun's mass and radiating vivid blue hues. Using the European Southern Observatory's wide field imager in Chile, the image mirrors natural colors resembling a festive Christmas tree. A subjective interpretation allows observers to trace the tree's shape using provided visual cues, allowing for individual variations. The bright star at the base of the tree, E.S. Monosuritus, is a formidable O-type star with a brief lifespan, implying a spectacular supernova conclusion. This astronomical sight highlights the universe's numerous structures, showcasing the festive spirit in cosmic brilliance. The Christmas tree cluster, a segment of NGC 2264, is a component of a broader celestial display that is complemented by the Cone Nebula. The Cone Nebula, a dense gas and dust cloud captured by Hubble, was initially left out to avoid misinterpretation, but it's a crucial component of the entire cosmic structure. The structure is transformed by the intense radiation from nearby stars, like a river sculpting a sandbar. This indicates how stars move around and the possibility of new stars being born at the tip of the cone. The unique position of the cone atop the celestial tree challenges our conventional understanding, similar to rethinking the place of pinecone ornaments in family lore. Exploring this cluster through the Spitzer Space Telescope provides a novel perspective, emphasizing the obscure details in far infrared light. The intricate interactions between radiation, dust, and star formation in NGC 2264 inspires a more profound understanding of the cosmic forces shaping these entities. These revelations encourage a reconsideration of perspectives, similar to the reinterpretation of familiar ornaments on a family tree. Adjusting the image to match the full NGC 2264 display, adjustments show that it's challenging to find the same stars in both images because the infrared and visible light visibility is different. The infrared photograph, which showcases red giant stars and those hidden by dust in the optical view, adds intriguing details to the celestial arrangement. In the infrared, there is a group of reddish stars that are not visible in the optical picture. They are hidden in dust and appear as a cosmic coincidence. The snowflake cluster is named well because it looks like a snowflake and adds a fun element to the cosmic surrounding. As an added advantage, the Christmas tree cluster turns out to be an easily accessible binocular target with its bright and evenly spaced stars providing a captivating celestial sight. It is located in Manoseros, the unicorn, east of Orion, and is easily visible during winter evenings. On clear, chilly nights, stargazing is a delightful excuse to venture outdoors and gaze skyward. These were just a few of the many celestial Christmas tree clusters out there in the night sky just waiting to be observed. While we set up our Christmas trees these holidays to lighten up the festive season, it'll always be intriguing how there are so many lights set up in the night sky that portray the same emotions of Christmas. All we have to do, look up. Which ones are your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting like on this video. As always, thanks for watching and happy holidays 